everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem: Solve d square y by dx square plus 6 into d y by dx plus 4y equals to zero. Solution. Firstly, let's find order and degree of the given equation. Find the highest derivative here. D square y by dx square is the highest derivative, so our order will be two. Since our order is 2, we'll get two constant two constants in the solution. Okay, we'll see later. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. So here the power of the highest derivative is 1. So 1 will be our degree. Now let's write the given differential equation in operator form. Given differential equation. d square y by dx square plus 6 into dy by dx plus 4y equals to 0. We know that differential operator d equals to dy by dx then d square will be d square y dx square. So now we can write the given equation as d square y plus 6 dy plus 4y equals to 0. Now let's take y common from all these three terms of LHS, then we'll get d square plus 6d plus 4 into y equals to 0, which is in operator form, right? Which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to 0, where f of d equals to d square plus 6d plus 4. Now we need to find the solution to the given equation. So using the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0, we'll find the solution to the given problem. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we are having f of d equals to d square plus 6d plus 4 then just replace d by m then we'll get f of m equals to m square plus 6m plus 4 then our other equation becomes m square plus 6m plus 4 equals to 0 Now we need to find roots. Okay, so here we'll just compare this with quadratic equation in x, and using quadratic form, let's say x equals to minus b plus r minus square root of d square minus four ac by two a. We'll find the roots to this equation, right? Now compare this to for m equals to x. And for a equals to quotient of m square 1 and b equals to 6 and c equals to 4. We'll use quadratic formula m equals to minus b that is minus 6 plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 into a into c by 2a by 2 into 1 is equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square is 36 minus 4 fours are 16 by 2 right which is equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 16 is 20 by 2. So now we have m equals to minus 6 plus r minus square root of 20 by 2. We can write this as minus 6 plus r minus. You can write 20 as 4 into 5 by 2. 
Now split this square root of 4 into square root of 5 as square root of 4 into square root of 5. We know that square root of 4 equals to 2. Then you'll get 2 into square root of 5. Right? Is equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 4 into square root of 5 by 2. Which is equals to minus 6 plus or minus 2 root 5 by 2. This becomes, since we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so we can split this into two terms. Equals to minus 6 by 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 by 2. 2 ones are 2, 3 is a 2, 2 gets cancelled, so we will get minus 3 plus or minus root 5. Therefore, m equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 5 are the roots of our auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0. Right? Or m square plus 6m plus 4 equals to 0. We can say. Now we have roots. Say m equals to minus 3 or m1 equals to minus 3 plus root 5 and m2 equals to minus 3 minus root 5. We know that. Or we have if two roots are pair of thirds or irrational. Say m1 equals to some alpha plus square root of beta and m2 equals to alpha minus square root of beta. Then we can write the solution as e power y equals to e power the real part for a equals to minus 3 into x into some constant c1 into cos h square root of b in the place of square root of b we have minus 5 right into x plus c2 sin h square root of 5 into x or you can just write it as y equals to e power minus 3x into c1 cos h x root 5 plus c2 sin h x into root 5. Okay. So therefore, the general solution is y equals to e power minus 3x into c1 cos h x root 5 plus c2 sin h x root 5. Okay. Since m equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 5 are the pair of thirds or irrational. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.